All right, we're back. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between mass and weight. And that is a question that has plagued students of science for ages. It's just sometimes difficult to get a grip on what the real difference is between mass and weight. Let's talk a little bit about mass first of all. If you were to define mass, mass would be defined as a quantity of matter. A quantity of matter. Well, what the heck does that mean? Literally, what that means is how much stuff a sample of an object has in it. If you take a rock, if you take, for instance, that one kilogram brass weight that you have in your classroom, it's really a one kilogram mass because it contains one kilogram of matter. And that really gives us an idea of where to start when we talk about the difference between mass and weight. Everything, that brass weight, a rock, you, the table, the earth, all stuff is made up of atoms. And atoms, you probably already know, I would hope, are made up of three particles. They're made up of protons, they're with a positive charge, they're made up of neutrons, and then, of course, out here you have the, the electrons. Well, if you've studied anything about atoms, you know that the electrons have almost no mass. They're so tiny, they're insignificant. It's like a flea sitting on the back of an elephant. It's insignificant. However, if you look at the nucleus of the atom, where you find the protons and the neutrons, that's where the stuff is that makes up the atom. I mean, after all, it's the proton in the atom that gives the atom its name. A hydrogen atom has one proton. Helium atom has two. It's the matter that's in the nucleus of the atom. The neutron also has each neutron has a unit of matter that you can you can put on a balance and weigh if you had a balance tiny enough. But that atom in the nucleus, that's where the stuff is. That's where the real quantity of matter is located. It's in the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. So, if you were to take, for instance, that one kilogram mass that you have sitting in your classroom, and if you could look at what that mass was made of, it's made of atoms. And the atoms mostly empty space, according to Ernst Rutherford, but the atoms contain tiny nuclei, and the nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons, it's made up of stuff. And so that object has a quantity of matter that is equal to the amount of stuff, in other words, protons and neutrons, that it contains. The more protons and neutrons, the greater its mass. So when you put an object on a balance and you weigh its mass, you find its mass, you're finding out something about the number of protons and neutrons that are in that object. You're measuring the quantity of matter, the quantity of protons and neutrons. The bigger the mass, the more protons and neutrons it contains. And that does not change. If you go from the Earth to the Moon, that mass will have one kilogram of matter in it on the Earth, and when you get to the Moon, you didn't take anything off, so it still has a mass of one kilogram. The mass does not change when you move from one place to another. It has the same mass on the Earth as it would have in outer space, and the same mass in outer space as it would have on the Moon, because it contains the same amount of matter. Now, we can take just a minute and we'll talk about weight. 
weight is a force. It's a force, which means it's a push or a pull. That one kilogram mass sitting on the earth is pulled downward by gravity. Gravity accelerates that object downward, tries to accelerate that object downward at 9.8 meters per second squared. So weight is a measure of the pull of that gravity. That is the weight. Weight depends on how strong the pull of gravity is trying to accelerate that object downward towards another mass. In this case, the Earth. That's why, when you look at the calculation, as we will in the next video, when we look at the calculation for weight, we'll use the equation force of weight equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity, g. The pull of gravity causes a mass to accelerate downward, thus instilling in it a weight. You measure that pull, that's the weight. And that is the difference between mass and weight. Mass is a quantity of matter. It depends on the protons and neutrons in the object. It doesn't change from place to place. It's constant. It stays the same. Weight, however, is a measure of the force of the pull of gravity. And you can calculate it using the equation force of weight equals mass times gravity.